Hi, good morning. It's May the 28th, uh, almost a month from our first video. Uh, sorry, I played a little bit of a mess for the spring cleaning. Got guests coming in a couple of weeks. But I wanted to show you uh, that, you know, I mean, we, we all go along the, uh, go and look around the YouTubes and we see these people with these awesome systems and, you know, you look at all this PVC pipe and these fence rails and pumps and all this stuff and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people out there that don't have the means to even buy good food. So I was, I'm going to try to show some different things that I do that actually don't cost a whole lot of money. And, uh, in most times because it costs no money, uh, even doing hydroponics. Uh, the, the one thing that you would have to come up with, of course, is some type of nutrient. But I mean, you know, it is possible to make organic teas and, uh, and such as that. And actually, uh, one of my next videos, I'm going to uh, try something. There was a, a researcher, scientist, a doctor, actually, that uh, did some research back in the 40s and 50s using uh, seawater as actual the fertilizer for his, uh, you know, for his hydroponics. And he actually ran a 10-acre farm up in uh, Central Florida and sold the tomatoes to public supermarkets. So anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna try that. Uh, and see if, if you lived in the coastal area that maybe uh, you could not even have to buy nutrients. Uh, might be a complete failure, we don't know. But we're going to give it a shot. Uh, because he was using some uh, sea salt solids, you know, from dehydrated sea salt, which, uh, you know, he was getting from different sources around the world. But anyway, that's, that's another video. Right now, uh, what I want to do is show you. In front of you is a styrofoam ice chest. It was thrown away by a convenience store because the handle that went around the top was broken. I actually have two of these. I've set one up already about a week ago. I'm going to set this one up. Inside that, I'm going to place a black plastic bag, trash bag, that you could probably get anywhere or you can if you find some just black plastic. But uh, it's going to go inside there just to make sure that it's completely dark. And uh, I did buy a marine through hole fitting right here. From the depot for uh, two bucks and about fifty cents, uh, cheaper than a marine store. You get a marine store that might cost about five dollars. And the only reason I'm using this is to direct the drained uh, nutrient into a bucket. And the bucket I'm using right now is going to be this bucket, which is also free. Actually, came from the same convenience store. When you, you know, when you go to a place and you see something you might be able to use, you know, ask them to save it for you. You know, if you go there a little bit, and they probably know you. A lot of people go to the same stores, the same restaurants, you know. Or if you, you see a pool guy, they've got, a, you know, containers of chlorine. Uh, we just we just found another five-gallon Home Depot bucket floating around in the water. I mean, I mean, there's stuff everywhere that you can use for hydroponics or even just for gardening. Uh, and you just, you know, you just have to take a use of it. So anyway, so I found this here. This was uh, every now and then the convenience store sells live flowers. And this is what they had water in to keep the flowers alive. So when they started running out, I said, hey, you know, there's got to be a bucket in there. Can I have it? And now to date, I've probably got about five of these buckets that they were going to throw away. And they just hold them for me. I go back in there and I pick them up. But anyway, so so that's what we're going to drain it into. So anyway, let's put this thing together. And what I, wanna, what I need this big, big box for is I'm going to plant potatoes in it. That I want to try. I saw, uh, I've, seen, I've only found one other YouTube where somebody planted them this way in Paralite. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot and see. Uh, he, he planted quite a few. He planted, you know, quite a few. Uh, Looks like about two gallon buckets or something. And uh, probably about six or seven of them, I'm not sure. And he only got six kilos, so about 12 pounds of potatoes. So, you know, it wasn't a great success. But we're going to see what we're going to do here. We're going to plant three sea potatoes, Yukon Gold, uh, in this in this here. So anyway, so I'll, I'll put that in there. Oh, I forgot to show you. Around the flange of that fitting, I put uh, a real heavy bead of silicone. So anyway, so there's that. Okay, you can tell by this hole that I just poked it through with a pair of scissors. So anyway, I'm going to take this. I'm going to stick this through that hole. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the nut and put on that and just uh, 
and just snug it up. And like I said, basically I'm just trying to make sure I can I can direct the nutrient where I want it to go instead of just running everywhere. I mean, if you had a big enough tub or tote or something that you can set some blocks in, that you can set this on, you don't even need that, you know. may not even need the black bag. I really haven't looked to see if light gets through this cooler, but, you know, that's, that's the only reason I'm doing it. And then I'm going to take and fold this back like so around the edges. See, see what we can do. And uh, also with this large bag like this, you could use a smaller bag, but I'm thinking that if I come up with a couple more of these ice chests as the potatoes grow, I probably can stack another one right up on top of it and then take the bag and just pull it over the top of the second one. And uh, cause as potatoes grow, you cover up the, uh, the first green as they grow and just keep, keep uh, putting more on top of them because the potatoes grow from the seed potato up. So that's why you see these big barrels, they start at the bottom, and such as that. And I'm not going to repeat these with a pump, I'm just going to uh, come pour, you know, the nutrient from the bottom bucket back into them, uh, you know, occasionally. So, anyway, so now i got the feed in there, so it's not going to sit on the thing, so I'm going to set it on top of my bucket. And there you go. And that's actually, you know, how it, how it would look, sit on top of the bucket. It was back the bucket. I'm going to put a layer of uh, lava rock again. This is like, you know, the cheapest cheap thing you can buy. I'm going to layer of that. So I've got about a, got about a one inch layer of, of, uh, of lava rock at the bottom. There you go, you can see that, I think. I hope. I don't know. I must have forgot to Maybe I use the other camera and I can see what I'm doing, but. And then these, these, uh, these came from the dollar store. These are laundry bags, I guess, for delicates or something. Uh, they're not painter bags, but I think they came three or four in a one dollar container. And that's basically what I'm using to keep my pair light from uh, just totally cutting up, get down in there and plugging up the drain. So I'm spreading two of these out and overlapping. Over tie wraps. And, uh, okay, maybe I'm just gonna spread that over the top of that lava rock. I can't really think it's going to you because if I do, it'll just fall off. And then I'm gonna put a, a, a small layer of hair light. This is some, uh, left, you know, some of the leftover from the tomato. I'm gonna pour that in first. Then I'll have to be using some new stuff. New, new pair of light, and we went by the second bag, by link, you know, doing this for about six months, until we had to buy a second bag, so that's okay. I'm not going to put too much. Bottom layer. And, uh, let me take this camera off real quick. So that's a small layer. And these are our uh, Yukon Gold sea potatoes. And you plant them with the, uh, with the eyes up. If you have any on the bottom, you break them off and try to scratch them out where they don't grow. That way you put all this energy in the ones you got up. Uh, growing up, and we planted potatoes, we bought like, you know, 50 pound bags of sea potatoes. And uh, we take them, we cut them, and, you know, we cut them where every piece we cut had at least two eyes. And uh, that's what we planted in the ground. So, you know, it's a little different than, you know, what you do in a field. But so that's, you know, there's another one. I'm going to plant three in here. We'll kind of put them in a uh, triangle pattern. One there, one here. And then when I get them in here, I'm going to cover them back up with perlite. Here's the third one. We're going to put him over in this corner. So they're kind of in a triangle. And uh, i got a little log rock on top somehow. <clears throat> so anyway, there's those out. Sorry for all the jerking around. Let me put you back on the stand. And I'm going to cover them with just a little bit of light.
All right. Well, I'm back. Uh, sorry for that. I don't know what I was thinking. Just picked up the camera and just thought I was showing stuff and wasn't showing anything. So, uh, anyway, let me uh, finish this up real quick. Uh, over here, this is the one I did last week. And you see it's, uh, you know, they're fucking up. If I give it another week, then I'll uh, cover those back up. And then uh, if I move out where they get a little bit of sun, not, not too much. Got a lot of light down here. Have issues with it. Uh, this is that one I just finished. I said, uh, you know, so when it, like the same with it, when it starts popping up, we'll just uh, keep filling it to the top for fair light, and then hopefully I'll be able to come up with a couple more uh, ice chests. And uh, I can always find them. You know, they always sit by the trash here. We live in a marina, and people get them for, go out on the day, and then they just throw them in the garbage. Just, just keep your eyes open. I mean, any time you think you need something, it's, it's amazing. It always seems to appear, so... Just, uh, you know, just keep keep it in your mind that you need a certain thing and uh, it'll show up. Anyway, I'm going to uh, do a quick tour of the plants. Oh, yeah, another thing about talking about, uh, you know, finding things to do. This little uh, strawberry tire was abandoned until so we took it. And I took one of those black pots underneath it and a small pump I bought uh, and was using for a project. And I upgraded the pump to, you know, to, to a larger pump because we're feeding a lot more plants. It's in that uh, black tub, tub and we, it comes on uh, four times a day for 15 minutes. And those strawberries are some of the clones we got from the uh, the original strawberry bed. And then I went ahead and seeded the top with some uh, radishes. So anyway, like I said, you know, that another free item. We had the big clay pot at the bottom, and uh, my wife had, you know, set, set it in there uh, where it looked a little bit better. But uh, but anyway, like that, you know, another thing, like that, you know, people people buy stuff for gardening and they quit. I mean, you look along with their trash. Just you know, just ask people, you know, if it's for free, and most times it is. Just a line here, kind of moved around. Okay, then over here, like I said, I'm gonna show a quick thing. Like I said, it's been about a month since the first first video. These are the on the second rail out there. These are okra plants. That tomato is the one I'm gonna do the uh, seawater test with. I'm gonna use that one. Uh, those are two habaneros. This is a little serrano that's come along, and these uh, the back here, those huge things, or a couple more of the okra. Uh, little herb, herb tires doing okay. I think uh, we got to limit it to like two because the water doesn't get pushed up high enough. But the others, I'm gonna, those aren't uh, glued on the upper half, so I'm gonna probably put a T and uh, break it into two sections of two, draining into the same hole. So we have got to work on that. This is uh, another one of the uh, hybrid Better Boy tomatoes. Uh, that's our eggplant. You know, just sit there to do much. Make beautiful blooms, though, but still no fruit. Uh, that's a, that green bell pepper I planted. Uh, heat getting to it. I think it needs uh, to be in a little bit of shade. Try to figure that out. Might get a little umbrella. Those are squash. Looks like uh, we're finally getting some squash or getting some size on them. Uh, so we got three of them there. So hopefully we'll get some of that. The uh, purple peas are getting a little, you know, getting a little bit bigger. Strawberries are, uh, you can see a lot more bloom, a lot more fruit. Uh, since we started pinching off the, uh, the runners. They're doing better. The German queen, uh, getting a lot of flowers, no fruit. Uh, I think we might try to pollinate it with a paintbrush. This is the, uh, other, better boy. Nice day. It's got, much closer to tomatoes. I need to go in there and, uh, like I said, uh, might as well take, you know, you got a dead branch, you might as well take it off. And, uh, so anyway, like I said, it, it's, uh, it's produced a lot of tomatoes. Let's see, you know, some of them grew before were cherry tomatoes and they, uh, they, they start turning red when they're about that size. So, that's the way. The, uh, runner beans, uh, the larger ones are actually starting to climb through the net. Uh, we had a few died. I think, uh, I used some, uh, foam rubber to keep the hydrogen from falling from the, uh, through the three inch net cups. And I'm, I'm afraid maybe they produce some kind of gas and kill them. This is the other, uh, heirloom, uh, German queen. And again, it's got a lot of blooms, but it, uh, hadn't uh, produced any fruit. So we'll have to see. And we get a lot of insects, got a lot of bees and wasps and 
with everything else coming around the boat now that we're growing stuff, so we didn't really think we were going to have to uh, pollinate, but I mean, we're just not getting uh, pollination. Oh, there's another little thing here. I mean, I don't know if some of y'all have ever seen uh, Larry Hall's uh, video. Uh, he has one called Endless uh, Green Onions. These are actually onions bought from the store. Cut them off, leave about a half inch of the white. And in this, this instance, they're stuck in a piece of foam rubber that, uh, or Airx foam that was used in a same convenience store to hold a 12 volt, uh, lighter adapter, USB port adapters. And, uh, the bottom part is a core container and the bag around it is a, uh, an old Dorito bag. And, uh, actually that's the, uh, on my channel, the picture is actually a picture of, uh, of these things with the bag off. Whoop. And then I can drop it and drop all the water out of it, of course. But anyway, that's, uh, like I said, that's, that's what that is. And anyway, like that, that's another thing you can do for almost nothing. Uh, you can take them in, we, we, we originally started doing them in dirt. There's a, there's a, there's a couple in that pot down there that were, uh, put in dirt. So, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, you buy a couple bunches of green, uh, green onions. If you don't need a whole lot of them, then you can, uh, pretty much have green onions for free from then on. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, let me get this done. Cheers.